Yeah, it's working. Hey, TV people, I'll mad mud duck back here, 26th of December, about 8 o'clock in the morning here in the great Pacific, frozen northwest. Freezing fog out. Got down to about 29 last night. I only got it about 68 in here. It's cold out there. But evidently, it's warming up. So, Christmas. Ah. Uh, Ran out of propane. Texted my brother, said, hey, can you shoot me some money a few days early instead of, you know, it's Wednesday. I know you pay me on Friday, but uh, you want to shoot me some money. So uh, he texts back, he can't do it. He just spent over $1,000 on snow tires for the truck and about 125 bucks on propane for the fifth wheel and... Uh, He'd have to wait till Friday, but he'll send me a little extra on Friday. And okay, no problem. Well, the day before that, Austin had come up and given me a fucking gift card. And, oh, the girl. Evidently, she had four contacts with the Fife police. Uh, one of them was because she was passed out in the Les Schwab parking lot, and some guy called the cops and... Uh, she was, uh, home yesterday, evidently, she come home, and, uh, I went chasing down, she, I seen her come out of the motor home, and, uh, I had just started the truck up when she come out of the motor home and started heading down the driveway, so I headed down the driveway, and she took off running. Hell, I kept it down to 40 till I got past the motor home, and then after the motor home is when I got into it and put it sideways after her. She took off running. She knows I'm pissed. She knows she done fuckered up by stealing my knife. So she took off running and up through the woods and I couldn't chase her down. Well, her dad loaned me 40 bucks so I could go get some propane and some gasoline. And I went up with uh, Sherry's gift card that he gave me for Christmas $25 gift card, pull up into the handicap spot out front. There's some guy begging for change, harassing everybody, mean mugging me. It's one of her friends, I think. Uh, and I sat there because the line was out the door, and I sat there for about a half hour in front of the place watching this guy pester everybody for change. And... Uh, Sit there, smoke a couple cigarettes, and watch some YouTube, and waited for the line to go down, and then after about 20 minutes, 25 minutes of sitting there, and that line wasn't going down at all, said, fuck it, and left. Came back an hour later. Line was still there. Showed up around 9 o'clock because I wanted my free piece of pie, and they cut that off at 10. There's six eight people sitting in there so I figure I wander in and guy makes a place for me to sit down so I set my old ass down and he says well you better get on the list and I said there's a list and he said yeah and I said okay so I get up and I go up to the counter where one of these cashiers or waitresses or whatever hostesses or whatever the fuck it is here in Sherry's uh, cafe and pies he Google is very specific about uh, what that's called. I just called it Sherry's. I didn't know it was Sherry's Cafe and Pies. But my phone tells me it's ca Sherry's Cafe and Pies. So, because I'd been watching the time thing on it. It says it's really extremely busy now, extremely busy right now. So, I stand there for about 10 minutes while this cashier gal is busy babbling on to some broad about pies and then... Uh, she asked if she can help me, and I said, yeah, I understand there's a list that you got to get your name on to get in. And she said, oh, well, we've cut that off. There's uh, uh, no more names going on the list. And I said, well, what's that mean? She says, well, we're closing in a few minutes. And I said, well, I thought this was a 24-hour restaurant. 
And she said, no, we're closing uh, for, because it's Christmas. And I said, well, you know, a lot of people come here because it's a 24-hour restaurant on Christmas. And she said, well, I can't put your name on the list. We're closing. I said, fine, fuck you. I'm out of here. And the gift card that I got from you uh, for Christmas to come up here, fuck you, people. I'm going to go down to the check cash in place and sell it for cash, bitches. See if I ever eat in this fucking dump again. Because last time I went up there, I was with uh, She Who Shall Remain Nameless. And uh, I don't remember if it was before or after the strokes and heart attacks. Damn, I don't. But we went up to Sherry's to get something to eat. Uh, I was... It might have been after the heart attacks because I was eating shit like fish and chicken and staying away from beef and... Red meats and shit like that. And I ordered the fish. And the fish came and I looked at that. And the waitress wandered off, and I looked at that, and I said, uh, they didn't drain this. And the nameless one goes, what? And I said, they didn't drain this, and I picked up a piece of it, and it was dripping oil down onto the plate. And I said, they didn't drain this. And the waitress come back, and I said, excuse me, ma'am, do you expect me to eat this? She said, well, what's wrong with it? And I picked up a piece of it that I ate another piece of it right? and it dripped more oil off and onto the plate and I said they didn't drain this and she said well we're awfully busy and I said well I'm not paying for this I'm not eating this come on babe we're out of here because there's just some things that irk me I mean awfully busy well yeah well that doesn't mean uh, you can't get it right you drain the fucking fish when I got fish that I'm picking up and it's going drip, 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 drip with oil off it, that, yeah, it wasn't, no. I'm not eating that. I mean, the least you could have done was put a half dozen napkins and paper towels down underneath it to absorb the fucking oil. Ah, some people piss me off, especially in the food business. Because you either do it right or don't do it at all. If you can't cook it right, you have no business of fucking behind the fucking counter cooking. I'm picky about my food. That's why I do all the my own cooking, because I like to eat. I like to eat good. So I came home and heated up some leftover spaghetti and... Uh, Head spaghetti and jalapeno wheels. It was an interesting combination, but for some reason last night it tasted good. And I need to get a little bit of that capsium shit into my system because uh, I've got... Uh, I think I got the crud. I think the girl gave me the creeping crud. Because I'm coughing up some abnormal fucking shit. But it's going to be about that time of year for me to start coughing up fucking the questionable shit. And, uh, tonsils ain't bad yet. <coughs> Creeping fucking crud. <coughs> oh, great. I'm going to sit here and cough for about 45 minutes now. Okay, well, that's enough of that. But uh, I ain't too fucking happy with Sherry. Oh, reason I'm not really too fucking happy with Sherry's is because... Uh, mm -hmm. 
Okay, I know the battery's getting low. Thank you. Uh, I called up there today to find out what time they opened. Since they were closed last night, and the person said, we didn't close last night. We were open 24 hours. We were a 24-hour restaurant. So the little gal lied to me, and I'm not fucking happy about that because I want a goddamn Christmas dinner. I ain't had a real Christmas dinner in quite a few years. I wanted a Christmas fucking dinner. And they fucked me on my Christmas fucking dinner. I think I'll call their corporate office and bitch. Might get a free gift card out of it. <laughs> Hell, when I called Winco and bitched about the construction people uh, getting profane with me, hey, what sort of shit is that? Yeah. Got a $50 gift card out of that. So, hey, what's the... I complain, I get shit. Don't ask me why. 